Okay, we are back. I went ahead and replaced our Moldo with um, Cryogonal for now, because I realized Rotom's my only special attacker, so that was uh, pretty bad. But there aren't very many physical walls in the tier. Now this team is terrifying, not gonna lie. Verizion and Regirock, which I'm gonna make a set on pretty soon. Assault Vest Regirock is fantastic. Um, I don't see anything that's gonna be able to outspeed Rotom, other than if that Pyro is choiced. Which it could be. Okay, he leads off with Villain. Which, if he's running Focus Sash, I'm screwed. So I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt and hope he's not running Focus Sash. I figured he would be. Um, he went straight away for Quiver Dance, which I don't think he will outspeed. Since I'm Scarfed. Nope, that is a dead Villain. Thank you. Or Vivian, however you say it. Either way, I wasn't too worried because I have uh, my Reggie. Now, this is terrifying. I'm not going to lie. If he's running an Assault Vest set, I have no chance. Because Assault Vest Regirock is way too good. Um, I'm going to go into Mill Tank and try to get a Toxic off on it. Stone Edge doesn't do much. I'm thinking this is probably offensive. It could be Assault Vest. I'm not sure. I got a Toxic off on it. That's all I wanted to do. Yep, he's running. <laughs> I think he's running Assault Vest Regirock. Now, I hate doing this, but I think I'm going to kind of be forced to Toxic Stall him here, because I, this thing is way too big of a threat. And I have nothing that can just... Pretty much nothing can take out a Regirock on its own. You pretty much have to take it out with Toxic. That's kind of how it works. Alright, he sends in Girder. Expected. Now, I have two Ghost types that I could potentially use. But either way, this thing gets knockoff, so something on my team is getting crippled. And I just kind of had to choose what. Um, nothing really wants to handle this. I have quite a big fighting weakness now that I think about it, since most can get knockoff. Um, I'm trying to think what I don't have a use for. I don't really need to get rocks up too bad. So I think I'm probably going to go into Go Lurk. This is my best bet. I need to put a Psychic type on this team. Definitely. See, okay, he's running a bulk upset. That's even more terrifying. Um, I'm thinking I probably want to just go for dynamic punch and kind of hope for hex. So that's what I'm going to do. I know it's cheeky, but I kind of have to. I'm going to get rocks up. So yeah, I have a pretty big fighting weakness. I need to put a psychic, a psychic type on this. And he had two confusion hacks in a row. I'm sorry, man. I really am. I'm going to go for Earthquake. It's not going to do much. His confusion is going to end. He has knockoff. Probably the most broken move this gen. For sure, actually. Um, and I have nothing that can handle this thing. I guess I can go into Durant, hope that that scares him out, and lets me set up a substitute. If not, I could maybe kill him with an Iron Head. Or hope for flinches. I don't know. He went for Drain Punch. Yeah. I should not have done that. I have no chance against this thing. I have a huge fighting weakness. Like, Yeah, I can never get flinches when it matters. He's going to sweep my team with this, for sure. I probably should have came in and tricked him as soon as I saw it, but what are you going to do? Yeah, I don't see any way for me to win this, honestly. Um, yeah, I see literally no way to win this. I mean, Thunderbolt's not going to do enough, obviously. And he gets knockoff, so that's going to be the game, I'm sure. I would say good game, but yeah... I I mean, that's like my entire team right there. All I have left is my defensive core and my spinner, so. He has Mach Punch, too. That's not going to do much, but I cannot see myself winning this at all. Um, I definitely, definitely needed to pay attention a little more when I was team building, because I have a huge fighting weakness on this team. He goes for close combat. And I get a Toxic off on him. Yay. Um... I can 
Nothing can take a close combat, so I'm gonna milk drink and hope that maybe he switches out or something. Oh yeah, he outspeeds. Okay. Yeah, I'm that's a good game for sure. I didn't have a chance there at all. Unless somehow I managed to kill him here. Nope, he outspeeds. What how how much speed does this guy run on this? I've n I don't see offensive Verzions very often. Yeah, I definitely need to put a Psychic type on the team, so I will get back to you guys once that happens, because I have no chance. Regigigas can live that, but he has slow starts, so I wouldn't be surprised if this didn't kill. I don't know, unless Regigigas manages to sweep, I don't know, he's probably just gonna... He comes in with Regirock, he's gonna go for Drain Punches. I'm gonna go for Substitute. His Regirock outspeeds, because Regigigas sucks. And that is the game. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Definitely start the next battle off with a psychic type of my team. Okay, we are back. I uh, swapped out Musharna or Miltank for Musharna, so that should hopefully help alleviate my fighting weakness a little bit because I didn't notice it. And he has no animation. That's kind of creepy. Um, this is a very, very, very bulky team. This is the bulkiest team I've ever seen, um, which should be pretty easy to deal with. I'm thinking I want to lead off with Regigigas. I won't shell smash. He's probably going to shell smash. I'm going to substitute. I know it's predictable, but what are you going to do? Uh, if he's just planning on setting up hazards, he's in a bit of trouble because um, my team is just going to power through his team. I can't really see... I mean, most of his Pokemon are Eviolite users, so I have to keep this Regigigas around to spam knockoffs. Um, there's no point in Thunder Waving this right off the bat. He brings in Throw. It's fine with me. Knocked off his Assault Vest. And I will be able to T-Wave him before he does whatever it is that Throw does. He ended up getting paralyzed, so that's pretty unfortunate. But what are you going to do? It's Pokemon. I go for return. It's not going to do anything, but any damage is damage. So, I believe that it can learn knockoff. Just like everything in your mother, so. Um, he's probably going to go for knockoff spam now. But there's not much that wants to take it. I could go out into Musharna, because it really doesn't give a fuck. Um. I think that's probably what my best play would be. I'm gonna run out. Go out into Musharna. He goes for knockoff. That almost one hits me. It's very unfortunate. It's, in my opinion, the most overpowered move in the entire game. But at this point, he can't one hit me with it again, so I will go for Moonlight. And he goes out into Crustle, which is kind of an interesting play. He's probably gonna go for X Scissor. And I don't see him doing anything to Durant. But I've been wrong about these things before, so... Hopefully he doesn't... I mean, what could it run? I mean, I think it can maybe learn, like... Unless he's running, like, HP Fire Crustle, which wouldn't surprise me. I've seen Choice Scarfed Hidden Power Fire Glaceons, so... You know, I mean, what can I expect? His, uh... This knows knock off, too. So, fuck this guy's team, and fuck this guy. Does I think everything on his team knows knockoff. So, I'm just gonna have to go for Iron Head and lose my life orb, because this guy's a dickhead. And you got flinched. You so deserved that. Never has anyone deserved something more than that guy right there deserving to get flinched. Running knockoff on half his team, it's not cool. He's probably gonna send in Prugly. Choice Scarf Prugly to spam knockoff at me or something. I don't know. It's the only other thing on his team that could know knockoff, so. Um, he comes in with this. I'm trapped. And I'm assuming he's scarfed. And he is immune to every single one of my moves, so. I'm gonna die to HP fire. But whatever. I got some damage off. It's better than none. I should've went for Iron Head and hoped for flinches, but... That wouldn't have made much of a difference. 
Now, I doubt he's running HP Ice, just because who the hell would run HP Ice? But I also kind of want to get rid of these rocks and spikes and stuff, since he has no more spike setters. He does have a spin blocker, though, so... Um... I'm thinking... I'm thinking probably Golurk would be the best option. I know it's predictable, but... Whatever. Now... Between everything, I think Dynamic Punch is probably the best thing to go for. He might go into Dewblade, which wouldn't surprise me, but he's more likely to go into Perugly, expecting a Shadow Punch or... I mean, Earthquake might actually be the best. Yeah, Earthquake's the best. It's most predictable, but whatever. Flash Cannon's not going to kill because Golurk's a beast. And that is a dead... A dead-ass Magneton. Now, here's this bitch. And nothing really wants to handle it because I have never seen one of these things. I don't know what they want to do. It's probably going to spam knockoff. Sharna is pretty worthless right now anyway, so... Let's go for that. Yep. Half your team running knockoff. I would yell at this guy, but he's probably going to end up beating me, so... Now... I don't really have any way to deal with this. I'm going to have to revenge kill it. Go Lurk, you're going to have to be the sacrifice. Hopefully he goes for Swords Dance or something. Yeah. I'm going to be able to get a decent amount of damage off. Oh wait, now he, gets, he has Shadow Snake. Could be really cheeky and go into Regigigas. And honestly, that's what I'm going to do. It's probably a huge mistake, but... Half his team's running knockoff, so there's not much I can do. So, he probably outspeeds, actually. That's the sad thing. So, it's not really going to matter in the slightest, so I don't know what I'm doing. Yes. I don't even know who Sniper Aim is, but I'm going to say yes. So, I'm going to go for knockoff. Oh, I do outspeed. Alright. Knocked off his Eviolite. That's fine with me. That's all I needed. So now, if I come in with Rotom, Shadow Ball should take it out, because these things really aren't that bulky on the special side. Um, okay. Shadow Sneak, yeah. I have no chance. Because half his team runs knockoff. That's good. So, lesson learned. Team building 101. Run knockoff on literally everything, and you win. That's literally, that's how you beat this, that's how you play competitive Pokemon. Run knockoff on everything, you win. So, that's going to be two losses in a row, because this team kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. So I'll give this team one more chance. I'm going to probably replace Rotom with something. Uh, there's so many threats this generation, you can't really deal with them all. And knock off spam. I'm going to probably put Verzeon back on because it's the only thing that can punish douchebags who run no knock off on everything. So that's going to be the game. Um, I would say good game, but fuck him because he's using knock off on everything. Um, I don't know what Game Freak was thinking with Knockoff. Uh, I'm not one to rant about things all the time, but... Come on. Knockoff, like, is there's nothing in the tier that can handle Knockoff. There's nothing that can take a Knockoff that doesn't... Or that appreciates getting its item knocked off. Um, it's really retarded that they, uh, you know, made it so good. Especially considering how widespread it is. Like, half the Pokemon in the game can learn Knockoff. And... Like, it was already an annoying move when it did no damage, so why? I mean, it's kind of hypocritical that I'm running it on this right now, but half my team isn't running it, so... Um, I'll have to think of something. Sticky Hold, Rocky Helmets... Um... What do you call it? Where is it? I think it starts with an S. The fat thing. Swallot. 
can run that just to deal with knockoff spanner. Like, I shouldn't have to run something that obscure to counter it. So, uh, in my opinion, that's ridiculously overpowered and should be taken out of the game. If they're not going to nerf it at all. So, I will uh, modify this team a little bit. And I'll probably do one more little uh, video with it. And then I will start over um, with a new team because... Yeah, this team's not very good. I kind of need a fresh start here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you with the next video.